Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Saturday. How are you? I am doing, wow, this is the thick fruit. Look at that. This is my protein shake, which I'll get to in a minute. It's like freaking pudding. Oh, but it's quite tasty. I'm getting ready to work out, but I'm going to get to that in a second. I had my uh, breakfast about three hours ago. And I'm really trying to focus on not, I think one of my weaknesses lately, as I've shared with you guys, has been I'm doing a little bit too much still of going too long between my meals. Um, and then I'm really, really hungry. I'm trying to really spread it out and have, you know, take instead of doing three or sometimes I can't lie, it's been two big meals, um, spread that out throughout the day and, and just that's what I'm paying attention to. So I just can't believe how thick this got. Here's what I put in it. Um, I'm waiting for my GNC shipment to arrive, which is taking a little longer than I expected. So I had to run out because, as you guys know, I've gotten rid of all the whey protein for me. Nothing wrong with whey protein, but oh, back. Um, I am not doing whey protein anymore because I've really cut out all the dairy. Because why? Not the dairy. If you guys do dairy, I'm not preaching against dairy. For me, um, I knew I was lactose sensitive, but I really think that lactose and um, dairy bothers me more than I realized. Because now that I've cut it and I'm not doing whey protein, I find that like, wow, I don't even remember the last time I walked around my house going, why is my stomach bloated? All I had to eat today is eggs, protein, you know, a salad, blah, blah, blah. Now I take the protein powder out, that kind of protein powder, not having it. So um, some of my influential people will get that protein powder. And then I went out just until my um, new protein powder comes from GNC, which is going to be Sun Warrior and Vega. Um, and then I'm also going to try an egg protein powder. Um, um, and what else? I think there's a soy one, soy 95, but I have to check because one of the things that corey has been teaching me is the thing with soy, you have to make sure it's not genetically modified. So I picked this up at the grocery store last night. I needed something because what really annoys me is when I come back to my house and I don't have any fish cooked and um, I need protein and I'm trying to not go with the canned stuff anymore. I'm trying to go with all fresh. So if I don't have anything, this is always a great thing to make a quick shake. Um, so this is uh, Jenny Soy and I looked on the back and it says... Jenny soy products are made from soybeans that were not genetically modified, blah, blah, blah. So I was fine with that. Um, 25 grams of protein, 110 calories, um, no carbs, 1.5 grams of fat. I will tell you, as far as the taste, um, this team tends to be neutral. Here's one thing that gets on my nerves. A serving size is three heaping tablespoons. Can you see that? That gets on my last nerve, okay? That's just, why can't you just put a scoop in there? Are you trying to save the earth? I get it, put a metal scoop in or something. But then what's, you know, my version of three heaping tablespoons is gonna be different from somebody else. And that gets on my nerves, I'm just saying. So anyway, how did I make my shake? I'm using almond milk. Wow, what the hell happened? <laughs> almond milk, which I love. I found out that uh, Blue Diamond apparently has a coconut milk too or coconut flavored soy, or is it coconut flavored almond milk, or is it coconut milk? I have to look it up, I don't know. This is what I use, I use the un, unsweetened, it's only 40 calories. I added a banana, and I added some blueberries. Here's my thing about blueberries. These were in my refrigerator. <laughs> Welcome to my world, people, where I buy things, and then I'm looking at them later going, I'm always calling my mom going, how, much, how long can I let this fish stay thawed in my refrigerator and still cook it? And she's like, Kelly, does it smell? And then I'm like, I throw away a lot of food and I can't do that anymore. So can you see these? I've had these in my fridge for a while and they're kind of shriveled and wilted. And that's normally not something I want to put in my mouth. So I didn't know if I should eat these, but I did put them in my shake. So hopefully this will not make me sick. But, you know, I'm, here's my question. There's no mold on them. Would you guys, does that mean blueberries are bad if they're like shriveled and looking almost like a raisin? Does that mean they're bad? Can you see? Like there's no mold on there, but they just, they don't look very robust. They generally don't like things that are shriveled and wilted. Um, I'm also, cheers, on what, day five of no coffee? You guys, it has not been that difficult. Hopefully I won't burn my lips off when I do this. I think I might. 
still very hot. I just made this, but I'm doing green tea. Um, and here's the deal today. My plan was to go, ugh, sorry. Once you really start focusing on your posture and then you find yourself slouching again, you realize how bad it is and how bad it feels. Um, so I was supposed to go to hot yoga today and I woke up with a freaking sore throat. It's on this side of my throat. Um, so I slept in, got up, took my Zycam. I'm gonna take Zycam every three hours. Um, but I believe the rule of thumb is, you know, cause you're thinking, you didn't go to hot yoga, but you have your cute workout clothes on, which by the way, Victoria's Secret, sports bras, which I'm loving. Not necessarily this style. This is the style that has the zipper, you guys see. So there's not even an underwire in, in this one, the green one. And then this top is the DA Active top. Making sure I tell you guys, because you all always rip me a new one if I don't tell you where I got my tops lately. The hat is from Arvon. Um, see, there I went and lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, the rule of thumb. Um, I decided not to go to hot yoga, more so because I thought I need to stay in and rest today and not rush around and go driving and rush somewhere. But I also think it's rude to go to a, a class like that if you're sick. Um, so I'm sorry, someone texted me. Um, so I decided to stay home. But I believe the rule of thumb is if you're sick from the shoulders up, meaning if you have a sore throat or a cough or a headache, you could still work out and it's okay. If it's below the neck, so if you've got congestion in your chest, if you have, you know, if you're puking or <laughs> throwing up or other things below the waist, um, that's when you don't work out. So that said, I'm going to work out. That's why I put my clothes on. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, I do not feel like working out at all right now. As much as I know it's gonna feel good and as much as I know it's okay for me to work out, I'm just telling you, this is, this is a constant me changing my habits, me recognizing what I used to do in the past. For the past two to three years, with me kind of dealing with all of these medical issues, when I was still going to the doctor, when they still had me on all these antibiotics and they didn't know what was wrong with me and yada, yada, yada. I had this horrible skin condition all over my chest and my back and my neck and it was painful. I mean, it really, it, it hurt, it itched and, and it was painful and my doctor was like, you shouldn't work out, you shouldn't put lotion on, you shouldn't put hair stuff in your hair, you should keep your hair off your face, all this stuff. So I gave into that and I would not work out because A, I was feeling down, I was upset, I was depressed. And then I was half listening to my doctor, but I would tend to just be like, well, I'm just gonna put my sweats on and you know, rest and take care of myself. And looking back now, it pisses me off because I really shouldn't have. Number one, you feel better after you work out. And if you're being sensible about it, it's fine. And actually, I just actually tweeted an article over the past week that you know, when you're sick and you work out, you can actually, don't quote me on this. I'm just saying the article said it better than me. It's actually, it can actually help with releasing toxins and so on and so forth. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But anyway, this is really funny because I've shot my vlog two times this morning and as I'm taking a sip of my protein shake, <laughs> I have no idea if I've already told you guys about <laughs> my protein shake. I think I have. What happened is, <laughs> I shot my first vlog, I got like five minutes into it, and then I stopped because I can't tell you why. It's just really something funny happened here in my house. Anyway, um, so the tea's going well, my throat hurts, I'm gonna take it easy, but I am gonna work out, and then I'm gonna stay in the rest of the day today. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys, which I'm really excited about, we brought a new client on at Fitfluential, and I wanna tell you about their app because it's a very cool app Especially because some of you know, hello, some of you know that um, in the past, it's been a while since I've talked about this, but I really like um, mixing things up with circuits, with doing Tabata, um, and certainly it's been a while, but every time I go and I do one of Zuzana's, um, you know, now she's doing these workout of the days very much like, I don't want to necessarily say CrossFit style, but she's really doing, you know, the short killer circuits where you just you're just kicking your own ass for 20 minutes um, and you need a timer and I have never been able to get a gym boss timer I have two gym boss timers and for the life of me I'm pretty tech savvy people I cannot set those damn things up so one of our new clients is bit timer can you see that here so 
You need to go download, it's 99 cents, bit timer. Check this out, hold on. So, of course I can make it bigger. Um, but you've got, here's where you, and they're updating this so it's gonna have even more options. So like if you wanted to, um, have to I'll have to put a link up to, to see what she was telling me. I think she was talking about um, some marathon training. But obviously, here's how long you're gonna work you can set it, and, and we're going to show you how to change in a minute. Here's how long you rest, and then how many times you're going to repeat that. So for me, like if I was going to do Tabata style, and you know, a lot of circuits, you pull your work, oh, you'd work for 20 seconds, and so all you're doing is you're just pulling it down, and then you're going to rest, repeat, wait, rest, for 10. It's very sensitive to my touch, and then I'm going to repeat that. Damn, you can go to, you can repeat it 20 times. So I've just set it to do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, which is a very typical Tabata style. Hit work, whatever you want to call it. You can mix all this stuff up. And then when you press play, it's going to do a countdown. Thank you. You should be able to do this on. I think I might have the sound down. Oh, I did. Had it on mute. Sorry. Let me see if I can start it again so you can hear. But then again, I have my music. You should be able to hear the sound now. Maybe. We'll see. See, there's the countdown. And then um, I'm going to let it keep playing while I babble on. But so you've got this, and I think doing it on your iPad is obviously like a nice big visual. I just saw this in, I don't know if Zuzana was using BitTimer, but she had her iPad propped up. I guess you'd have to also check your power settings so it would stay on. Um, see? And then you've got your nine seconds rest. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so again, great for traveling on the road, no excuses, but you know, I can just prop this up here. It's also obviously on my iPhone too. So that's BitTimer. They're a new client of Fitfluential, so full disclosure, uh, they are a paying client of Fitfluential, but I love what they're doing. And you're going to hear us, we're going to do a Twitter chat with them um, pretty soon, and we'll talk about some really cool workouts to do um, with timers and how you can get so damn creative, you guys. Um, it's, it's really amazing. The one thing, though, about getting creative, because I found this when I, would, uh, when I travel on the road. A lot of times, and it was Carla who told me, she goes, right, if you're going to do a circuit, if you're going to do whatever in your room, I thought my phone was ringing, write it down. And there's definitely something to be said for that because if I just, okay, one of the things that I find so amazing, there are so many things that you can do with no equipment to get your heart rate up, to work virtually every part of your body, even if it was, you know, kind of more on the yoga end side of things, or more on the body weight exercises, you know, push-ups, tricep dips, um, inverted push, I mean, there's just, there's so many things you can do without using any equipment, right? But it's almost because there's so much to do, if you don't give yourself a plan, like if you're on the road and you want to work out in your hotel room and you really want to get your, and you want to have an effective workout, you can't just sit there and trust that you're going to go, yeah, I'll just jump around and do some legs. If you, I, I believe me, I found that with myself, like what am I going to do? Write it out. And one of the things we're going to be doing with Fit Fletchel is you'll see, you'll have resources where you can see all of these moves and make, mix and match them yourself. Because I think once you realize how much you can do, even in a small hotel room or in your condo or in your house, um, if you share a, a college a dorm, you can do it in a, in a college. You don't need a ton of space. It's just about being creative. But at the same time, when you're being creative, write it down. Put it on a little sheet of paper, put it in a notebook, put it on a clipboard, and, and then you have a guide to go by. Because if you don't do it, if you don't do that, fail to plan, plan to fail. You're gonna do less. You're not gonna work out with this high of intensity. You're not gonna go as many seconds as you would. Um, I mean, it, it just is. It, it's a fact. I have noticed that like, when I put in a workout DVD, they're always gonna do more than you would, right? So if you're following along with something, you're gonna, you're gonna follow along until it's finished, where if you just make it up yourself, you're gonna tend to go, oh, I'm sore, I'm gonna just give up. So write it down, set the bar high, and then follow it. God, my throat is hurting. I also have no idea why this shake is so thick. All I did was use the almond milk, 
the soy protein powder, the blueberries, and a banana. But it's like, do you see that? Look how thick that is. Look, I'm not pouring out. It's just creeping out there. Ooh. Anyway, that said, sorry for my overly airhead moment today where I don't know if I told you about my protein shake or not, but what are you gonna do? I'm kinda sick. Um, that said, 15 minutes, I gotta go. You guys have a great Saturday. I'll do a sweat fest video for you later. And again, no excuses, even when you're sick like me.